So before we start, I thought I'd show off the Zal we're using today. Today we're going to be using a play Kree Path with Peye and uh, Vargi Tujai. If you wish to turn this into a polearm, you could either use the Plague Bakwin or, as I've seen, uh, a little change I could uh, possibly use. You could either use the Kustra or the Sikala. Both of them are very good options, and both will do the same thing that you're looking for. It's all dependent on what you feel like using. Polearm, use one of these two. If you're going to be using it for a Rapier, use either Plague Aquin or Peye. So let's go ahead and show off the build, test in the simulacrum, and then we'll go into a steel path mission. We are going to be reviewing the Plague Creep path, as I do enjoy using a lot of the Zaws. I decided to try this one with a rapier, as I have saw it and thought, okay, I have a Plague part. Let's see what we can do with it. So when it comes to the Plague Creep path, you can either make it into a um, rapier or a uh, spear. I went with a, or polearm, I went with a rapier. So we'll be using a Pretty standard conditional overload, blood rush, weeping wounds build. I added primed reach, organ shatter, shocking touch for the uh, electricity so we can use melee influence. We have uh, Carnus mandible so we could have more slash. And instead of using my Riven, either use Buzzkill or something that increases your crit damage more or gives you attack speed. This does two of the three, so I decided to keep it on. But like I said, replace it with Buzzkill or um, attack speed. If we go with the Corpus one, this one actually doesn't use the Riven at all. This one goes off of using Magnetic Toxin and Viral because of the ability to add Fever Strike, but this right here makes it magnetic with this, so it mixes. We're using Melee Vortex so we can suck in the enemies, and Exodia Force, once again, is just so status effects keep applying if we don't kill them. And this one is funny, but it does work, weirdly enough. This is a Viral Electricity and Blast build. Due to how Melee Influence works, whenever you apply damage to the enemy, you have a chance of... Um, I like the electric status effect when it applies to them. You have a chance of spreading your elementals to the rest of the enemies around you. So it just kind of keeps spreading over and over again. So I'll show off the two obvious builds that should work. And then I'll do the funny. So the thing with the build that I'm using, it does have conditional overload. So usually you would like to have a primary pet with you. But as just a base weapon, it actually can do a good amount of damage. As you can see, killing the low guys pretty quickly. And since it keeps applying its status effect, thanks to both of the... Um, uh, arcanes uh, everything can die even without applying multiple status effects but i will also show off whenever there are multiple status effects applied so let me get that all right i got my uh, little dog to spread its status effects and as you see with the additional status effects on top of that thanks to primed reach giving me more range and all the arcanes spreading the status effects they die pretty quickly i'll show off the corpus next and then the funny build now, sadly, at some point, I had lost my Corpus Crew group, battle group, whatever they're called. I don't know why. Suddenly, they just weren't there, so I have to just spawn in Juno Lee Crewman. But, as you see, it does still stab quite quickly and kill them quite nicely. There we go. Melee Vortex applies, and then I can just keep doing this. And it keeps applying, too, which is nice because of the two Arcanes that keep uh, mixing with each other, so I don't have to worry about my status effects not being spread out. So, as you see, as soon as I get another Vortex, there we go. And they're gone, as long as I can aim. So let's show off the funny one and then we'll go test it in an actual mission. All right, so why did I say it's funny, but it works? Well, watch what happens whenever I just start hitting them. Blast keeps applying, blast keeps spreading, blast keeps applying, blast keeps spreading, blast applied, blast spread, and then, well, the two that were a little not next to each other didn't die. So as you see, it actually does work quite well and it's quite interesting to use because if you use it on things like the Murmur, who obviously, if you played long enough, they like exploding a ton. So let me just pull them all a little closer. Uh, minus the guys who don't get pulled, obviously. Uh, everything died quite quickly. I might try that build out, actually. I might bring that one to a mission. We'll figure that out. I'm going to put on my proper build, and then I'll see y'all in a Steel Path mission. So before we get a little further into the video, I just want to stop and say, if you guys do enjoy my content and want to see my channel grow a little more, make sure you guys hit that like button, do subscribe, and do turn on bell, uh, that bell for best notifications so you always get notified whenever I post another video. As you know, that subscribe button is free, and it helps my channel grow. So, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Sorry for taking too much of your time. So, I decided to bring the funny build to the uh, mission instead of using my normal build with the Riven just to see how it would perform in an actual mission instead of just in the simulacrum. And I can say this, I am not disappointed. As you just saw in that little corridor, since they were all clumped up, they kind of just all went kaboom. And it still does work. Let's go ahead and add gloom to this. Because this is my melee frame. Outside of using Excalibur for normal melee weapons like swords, uh, I bring out Dagath for the free uh, crit damage, the healing, and the ability to spread the uh, doom. I was trying to remember the dang name of it. Because I can do that if I don't like the enemy and I didn't feel like meleeing them. I can just spam that. And hell, this blast build, funnily enough, does work quite well. Oh crap, that's my Torrid. My Torrid up. 
That's my new core. <laughs> I forgot I brought my new core with me. But as you can see, it does surprisingly well, Argon Crystal. I mean, hell, that was a 1.2 million crit right there. Another Argon Crystal. And nothing's actually struggling to die unless I just can't aim. So, as you see, it's doing quite well. Minus that guy because he had no status effects applied to him. Whichever one does the... Is it Arcane Fury? Whichever Arcane increases your attack speed, use that one on your frames and maybe Arcane Avenger for more crit. Or, uh, Molt Augmented if your frame uh, adds buffing to your weapons. Stuff like that. Uh, I'll wait till an Acolyte has appeared and that way we can see how it handles Acolytes because I'll see you when one spawns. All right, and the Acolyte is spawning. Again, do you mind mailing? There you go. Let's see what we're getting. Uh, Torment, I think she's easy to deal with. We're about to find out. Oh, oh God. <laughs> she, oh man, I hope she's easy to deal with. Completely exploded. Okay, never mind. She was very easy to deal with. And uh, I'm going to be honest, this is quite good for just being a funny idea that I made. It, it, it does well. I haven't struggled to kill anything unless I completely can't aim. As you see, if I don't look at them, they don't die. The only ones that make it a little difficult would be the, uh, uh, what are they called? The ancient healers, the ones that give everybody an extra overguard stack to everything they have. So yeah, that's the only ones who really make it annoying. But as I said, this is the funny build. If you want a more practical build, use the, um, the one I showed with the ribbon, but change the ribbon out for either buzz kill, uh, more crit damage, attack speed, stuff like that. So swap out that for whatever you like so i'm going to complete this mission because i am having a little bit more fun i want to go for maybe 10 minutes possibly by myself and i will so like i said i was going to stay to 10 minutes to see how i would handle a 10 minute acolyte so let's see who we get oh misery too where is he hi misery with no sass effects applied to him until the very end wow he did die really quickly it's wild how good this this funny build is hell you just saw 1.2 million crit there I've been hitting threes occasionally, so I'll see y'all back in the uh, orbiter. So overall, what do I think about the play Kerr Path uh, Kree Path uh, Zaw? I think it's a very fun Zaw. You can play either or whatever fits your playstyle, because you can change also the stances you use. I decided to use uh, Bullpine Mask, I believe is the one I'm using, but there is another one that you can obviously stance change, slap that one on, swap it out. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you want to see more content like this, do tell me down below what you, what you want to see in the comment section well, below. Hit that uh, like button and do subscribe so you always get notified of whenever I post a new video. A little sneak peek before we end. What's the next video going to be like? Well, let's just say if I type in Prime here, there's a, there's a certain new weapon you may see in this thing. It's going to be a comparison between two of my uh, two weapons I really like using. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.